989. Welcome to a 989 on Health Extra. These quick supplements should help ease any withdrawal symptoms you may experience while waiting for our next full episode. So, Mike, what's on today's agenda? For a variety of reasons, including convenience, I keep my hair closely buzzed to my scalp, and I cut my own hair. As strange as it sounds, this practice might be putting my life and the lives of people like me in danger. Hmm, how so? Well, the average person gets a haircut every three to six weeks, which means a professional is looking at your hair and scalp about once a month in good lighting, I might add. And the average person goes to a dermatologist, well, never. It's difficult to prove a negative, but I'm willing to bet that unless your primary care physician notices a problem with your skin and refers you to a dermatologist, most people will never just think to book an appointment with a dermatologist. And get this, you should be getting checked out by a dermatologist once every year. So folks like me avoid the hair salon, but it's a lot more normal, unfortunately, to avoid going to the doctor. But all of those more sociable folks out there who partake of the many services available to the modern human, hairdressers, nail techs, dental hygienists, massage therapists, and more. If you're not going to the doctor like you should, your favorite technician is often going to be the one to notice the change in your health. These helpful, hardworking people who are not doctors can notice changes in their clients and encourage them to get an exam with a dermatologist or other specialist and saving lives in the process. When it comes to what a hairdresser can notice, a few logical things jump to mind. Uh, Maybe they can notice hair loss, lice, ticks, and of course, signs of melanoma, skin cancer. But you may not realize that your hair can change a lot depending on what you're going through in life. Pregnancy, menopause, stress, physical abuse, and if you've abruptly stopped taking your mood stabilizers. All of these can cause changes to your hair that your stylist or barber can notice. Of course, it would be outside the scope of practice for your colorist to diagnose you with cancer, but they can refer you out to a properly credentialed specialist. Dental hygienists are on the lookout for gum disease and tooth decay, but they can also detect signs of Parkinson's disease, Crohn's disease, blood pressure issues, signs of acid reflux, anemia, even enamel erosion as a sign of oral cancer. And many dental offices are now offering diabetes screening. So if you've been wondering if that sense of fatigue you've been feeling lately is anemia or diabetes, your local dental office might be able to help you out with some diabetes testing while you're in for a cleaning. A massage therapist can work out your knots and kinks and recommend changes to your body mechanics, things like posture and ergonomics. But massage therapists can also detect signs of sports injuries, allergies, dehydration, hormonal changes, even something like if you're wearing your bra too tight. And of course, the therapist giving you a full body massage is going to see a lot more of your skin than your hairstylist does and may notice a possibly problematic mole before you do. Nail technicians can detect a wide range of issues, more than you'd think. Nail techs can observe signs of fungal infection, liver disease, emphysema, arthritis, thyroid issues, signs of malnutrition. The weird thing is, even if you're eating enough of all the right foods, a number of digestive issues can mean you're not properly absorbing all the vitamins and minerals you need. There are even signs of cancer visible to a nail technician. Now, none of these technicians are qualified to diagnose your illnesses, and you can't ask for or expect a medical exam from most of these technicians except perhaps your dental hygienist. But over time, all of these techs come to know you and your body and what to expect from you. They know what your normal is, and they may notice health problems that you do not. I found lots of interesting articles about life-saving discoveries made by a wide variety of different technicians. Make sure to check out the show notes for a bunch of good links to good stories. How long's it been since you've seen a dermatologist? You should be getting a dermatology exam once a year. Do it! Thanks again to our great listeners for sending in suggestions. If you'd like to send in your own topic for consideration, head on over to level989.com slash contact and make it so. 
That's all for now. You can find links to read more about today's topics at level989.com. Why not take a moment to rate or review us in iTunes, or give us a mention on social media? We can't help everyone if they don't know we exist. Don't rely on us as an alternative to medical advice from a professional healthcare provider. For the full disclaimer, please see our website. Thanks for listening, and now, go health yourself. Go health yourself.